You can see the Eureka Tower, the tall building to your right-hand side. You can even see the the, uh, the roof line of the uh, of the soccer stadium. But the, the Shrine of Remembrance is um, is just that. It's it's a very important uh, war memorial. Uh, the Shrine of Remembrance. The way the Shrine of Remembrance is lined up, that the front of the the Shrine of Remembrance faces the main street in Melbourne, which is Swanston Street. So now that all the buildings are so tall, you don't see the shrine from the main street all the time. You do when you're in the middle of the street. But it was purposely built there in 1934, so people never forgot those who gave their lives for their country. The shrine is very well worth going into. Um, again, it was, it, it, it was built to commemorate the 119,000, uh, oh, more than 19,000, um, Victorians from the state of Victoria that went off to uh, to World War One, service men and service women, but of those 19,000 that never returned. So it's to commemorate all those um, that have served, uh, but of course paying uh, more tribute to those that gave their lives. Uh, so of course that on uh, that great war, um, uh, the First World War. The, the 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 shrine was finally opened in uh, in the 1930s 1934 and they there's a couple of different chambers in the shrine when you first walk in you walk into a reception area where they have an audio visual that tells you a little bit of the story of the anzac a n z a c australia 